Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a chef, I'm a singer, and I'm also a model. So I think it was um it was his birthday. Yes, it was actually his birthday then. I visited, then I sang my special birthday song and one other love song. <laughs> it didn't end well. No, not that it didn't end well, but we are not together today. You understand? We are not together because because of one or two reasons, you know. But funny enough, the funny part is the guy liked me, like genuinely. He liked me so much, just the way I liked him. I feel he outgrew it. See the way I called, I loved him that time. Over time, I didn't like him that way anymore. The thing is, I've had, I've had several experiences with men, you know, packaging, packaging lust for love. You understand? It's everywhere. Every girl goes through that. Most especially here in Lagos. You understand? So guys don't just come direct to tell you, hey, I want to sleep with you, I want to have some. No, they will come in the name of, I love you, let's get into a relationship. They would, you know, play along for a while, and all of a sudden, once they are satisfied, they just go off. So as a girl, you have to use your head. You need to know what you want. You need to be wise, you need to be smart, you know. Yes, and it's easier. It's easy for a girl to fall for these things when the girl is in love. Um, so I'll give you an instance. I started a new job on the island. That was my first job on the island. So I was heading to work that day, and I saw one guy. You know, people say love at first sight. I love his height. He, he was so cute from behind. Oh, I'd already love the guy. Wow, who is this fine boy? From Oshodi, I was <laughs> my house then was in Oshodi. So I just said it in my mind. I admired him and I passed. You understand? Surprisingly, when I got to the bus stop, I wanted to enter bus heading to Aja. I just saw the boy. I was trying to buy water. The, boy, the guy just came to my feet. What's a beautiful lady like you doing? Hey, I say it was like magic. I said, this guy, well, I don't fall for nine, they can't talk to me. So, in a situation like that now, you already have that special likeness. You just see the person you don't like him. Now the person is approaching you and being all kind, being so loving and all that. You don't fall now. You understand? At that point, you don't even... Your brain will not tell you, ah, this person wants this or that. You just follow the way you feel. And that's how you end up in a mess at the end of the day. And yeah, so, how I drew the line, um between knowing when a guy is um, lustful or in love, you understand? I won't say I've, I don't know it all, even till now, I'm still learning. So I feel it's not by parenting. We, we hear this word that experience is the best teacher. You will learn it for yourself. Even when people have gone through it and you are hearing, you will not understand till you go through it, you go through that stage, and you keep learning. Some experiences are hurtful, but they teach you sense, they teach you wisdom, they give you brain. I was duped, I was duped last year, you understand? That pattern they used to dupe me, they cannot dupe me with that pattern again, ever, see, like that. You understand? Because I've gotten that experience. <laughs> <laughs> I met this guy online, so we're talking and all that. He was all nice, so kind, and I was single there. I do have, I didn't have a boyfriend. So the way he was coming was like, he said he was not in the country, right? So he was coming back for December, and I said, hey, so okay, I want to get you some stuff. I want to buy you this. I want to buy you that. I said, okay, that's good. You understand? This guy sent me. He sent me a link, okay? Then he sent me another link to view the stores he, he, he has shipped. So when I clicked the link, he showed, oh, Rachel, you have a package, an iPhone this, a hair, a bag, a blah, 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 blah. Call this number to confirm, I thought. He said, okay, you have to pay so, so, so amount to, to send this stuff to Lagos. I paid. He now came up, came up with another story. You understand? that there's something, they are scanning the package and there's something in the package. It's making one kind of noise. 
Wang, 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 that is like there's something fishing with the pack. What's fishy? You can see everything on your system. You know, the guy now says, can he open the pack? You can, can open and check. You now said he's seen money, and money is contraband. He's seen how many thousands of dollars. It's not, it's illegal. I'm I have to pay money to the, um, what, what are these people called? To the custom, yeah. I have to, I have to settle them for them to allow it. I called the guy, I said, come. Look at you, did you put money in this package and how were you able to send this thing with money? He said, I knew how you settled the end that should look for a way to set. How much did I send again? 50 k Then the first link he sent was for one job link or something. So I clicked that link and added my information and all that. Do you believe from that link they were able to access my account and they emptied my account? You understand? So this thing happened a week before my birthday. See, I couldn't cry. I couldn't tell my mom, saying, a man, do me this thing. Because when I'm sad, uh, it shows in the house, everywhere will be dull, because I'll just be inside my room. I will not come outside, I will not participate. When they are watching movies, I will not just be anywhere. So my mom was just coming to check on me. She said, Rachel, don't put your, tell me what is the problem. I said, no, I'm fine. At the end of the day, goose did not come. Nothing came, the guy blocked me, his number. Then I just knew that I have been duped. They've run these streets. So you know, see that system now. Nah, there's no way a guy will come now nah, and want to use that scope. I don't even want. You understand? So I, I've just learned, I learned the hard way. So imagine person tell me now nah, that time I could just say, ah, this guy is genuine. This guy is so kind. Can you see the way he's talking? We'll talk for hours. Two hours. He's still talking, telling me lovely stuff, telling me. Now nah, you know if you work again because I've outgrown that stage of my life. So um, the big move on how I approached um, my church, one of my church members, to express my feelings. <laughs> you know that thing, eh? I've actually been hearing people say that uh, I was the one that asked him out and he agreed. And so we are, I've been liking this guy for so long. I loved him, the way he carried himself, the way he behaves. The guy was just different from other guys in church. So I said, okay, <clears throat> let me just summon this courage. So that day after choir rehearsals, I just told him, I want to talk to you. I just told him the way I felt. I said, I like you, honestly. I like you naturally. What if we date? What, what do you think about it? Hey, the guy said, huh. Ah. He said, you should have told me this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you should have told me this since. He said, I just entered a new relationship. You should have told me the way you felt. You know, it would have been easier. I said, ah. It was hard for me to, it took me a lot of courage to come and say this to you. So I've been having this thought in my heart. And he said, it's not possible that it's a relationship now. I said, okay, no problem. I shamefully stood up and walked out. You will not believe that after, I think it was three years. You know that time I still day very naive. Come be like, say, Richard on the upgrade, Richard on the hot, all the old guys for church now. Sister Rachel, everybody wants to come down. <laughs> that was when the guy now, he now called me and messaged me and said, it's no more with his babe that, um, can we date now? I said, eh? So you want to use me as second option? You are no more with that one. I'm sorry. I was not, funny enough then, I was I was still not serious with anybody. I told her, I'm sorry, I'm in a serious relationship now too. I'm seeing somebody. <laughs> you understand? But it was, it was really embarrassing. I'd never done that in my life. That was my first trial. And I don't think I'll ever do it. If I love a guy now, if I like you so much, I can, I can give you eye contact. I'm very good with that but in a very coded way. It's the way I will look you. Maybe you're sitting at that bar or something. It's the way I will look at you, you understand the message. So if you are smart, if you like me and you're smart enough, you can come and you know talk to me or you know, chat. But me, coming to meet you and say, wow, I like you, never.